Before you can complete your training, you must also learn how to command space forces in battle. Let's examine another conflict, this time from the perspective of the Empire. In this case, the Empire faction is attempting to eliminate a rebel space station located in orbit above Kashyyyk. An Imperial peacekeeping envoy deployed to Kashyyyk was assaulted by an unusually organized dissident group. This warrants our full attention. I'm sending you to investigate a derelict space station being used as a haven by these rebels. Direct this space fleet to Kashyyyk and reinforce the Imperial units already en route. Eliminate all resistance and report back to me at once. To attack the rebel space forces located above Kashyyyk, drag the Imperial fleet from Nal Hutta to Kashyyyk. Moving a fleet into orbit above an enemy planet will initiate a space battle. Mission log updated. Location confirmed. Tactical battle imminent. To take control of the space above Kashyyyk, you will need to eliminate all of the enemy forces and base structures. You will be escorted by an Imperial officer on this mission. This officer will provide you strategic advice from the safety of his shuttlecraft. Welcome to the front line. We've pinpointed their base of operations and are standing by. Our orders are to eliminate this station by any means necessary. We will need to navigate through this hazardous terrain to reach our destination. Stay away from the asteroid fields and stay alert. This area is ripe for an ambush, and we can't afford to take any losses. Follow me. Select your units by left-clicking on them, and then issue a move command by right-clicking on the desired map location. Scroll the tactical display by moving your cursor to the edge of the screen or by using the keyboard arrow keys. Tartan cruiser reporting. Location confirmed. Advancing. Confirmed. Forward. Full speed. Good job. Watch out for those nebula fields. They'll wreak havoc on our auxiliary systems. Moving. Nebula fields are swirling clouds of gas and dust that can be found in space. These fields do not damage ships, but they do disable the use of unit abilities, such as the power to weapons ability. Heading out. Fall out. Let's move out. Enemy forces ahead. Let's go. Attacking. Incoming hostiles. Remember your training. Divert power to weapons. Use the Tartan Cruiser's power to weapons ability to increase the ship's rate of fire and destroy the fighter squadrons blocking your path. Select your Tartan Cruiser units, then click on the power to weapons ability icon located on the command bar. Imperial scouts reported a frigate ship along with a bomber squadron in the vicinity. Take a moment to allow our shields to regenerate before advancing. Shield status is reflected by a blue bar on a ship's health meter. Shields regenerate over time for most space units. Hull status is reflected by a green meter. Unlike shield damage, hull damage does not regenerate over time. If a ship's hull is destroyed, the ship will be destroyed. Okay, let's move out. Follow me. Keep going. 
This way. Over there. Location confirmed. Advancing. Confirmed. Forward. Full speed. Enemies in range. Oh, wait. There they are. The frigate has been damaged, probably by one of our patrols. If those bombers manage to attack us first, their torpedoes will tear our hulls apart. Destroy the hard points on larger ships and space stations to disable critical parts like weapons, shields, and engines. Only units with torpedo projectiles, such as bombers, can attack hard points on a ship or structure while the shields are functioning. Moving out. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. Maximum fire. Frequency open. Roger that. Firing on their lasers. Form up. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. Firing on their lasers. Awaiting orders. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. Firing on their lasers. 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 Copy. Concentrating firepower. Target confirmed. Just. I copy. Firing on their lasers. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. 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 Directing all fire on the engines. Take out their engines. need reinforcements to commence with our assault. Deploy our reinforcement ships and bring more firepower to bear against that space station. To bring reinforcements into a battle, select the reinforcement button. Then drag and release the ships into space from the reinforcement window. Remember, reinforcements can only be released in open space, away from enemy structures and other hazards. Double-click on any unit to select all visible units of that same type. Smaller units, such as fighter squadrons, can be selected by clicking on either the squadron icon or on the individual units. Navigating. Uh, 
I call, babe. Cruiser here. Navigating. Watch out for those ion fields. Ion fields are swirling clouds of charged gas and dust that can be found in space. These fields do not damage ships, but they do disable unit abilities and shield regeneration. What are your orders? Reporting in. Hi, Corby. Confirmed. Attacking. Cruiser online. Ready. Order confirmed. Destroy the shield generator. Yes, sir. Be careful. This doesn't look like the work of space rabble. The shields on that derelict space station have been restored. Approach the station with fighter squadrons to draw its fire and use other units to eliminate the remaining hardpoints. Reporting. Setting shield generator as primary target. Bombers standing by. Acclimator ships contain TIE fighters and TIE bombers as well as the power to weapons ability to help you destroy the Rebel space station. Directed fire on the Your shield order, generator. Sir. Destroy the shield generator. Standing by. Maximum fire. Small fighters are useful against space stations because of their speed and small size. shield generator hardpoint for enemy ships and space stations to disable their ability to regenerate shields. This will make them more vulnerable to attack and easier to destroy. To view this battle from a cinematic perspective, select the cinematic camera option located on the command bar. Let's return to base.